Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change a door lock assembly on your oven. It's a really easy job. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, the first thing we'll need to do is to disconnect power to your wall oven. So locate your electrical panel, turn off the appropriate breaker or remove the appropriate fuses. Make sure that the lights are not lit on that console and then we'll know that the power is off. Then our next step will be to open up the door and we'll need to remove these two trim pieces on the side so that we can access screws that secure the control panel in place. So just remove two screws on the bottom, one on each side, to remove those trim pieces. And just gently pull that trim piece out on the bottom, slide it down from the top, Set it aside. Do the same on the opposite side, pull it away on the bottom. Just pull down slightly at the top. Now that will expose two screws that secure this control panel to the housing. So next we'll remove those. Just lift up slightly on that control panel, pull it forward, tilt it, and you'll be able to see where the wire harness is attached to the back of it. So we're just going to pull each of those harnesses off and then we'll take that control panel completely out of the way. Now with the control panel tilted forward, we'll have the option of replacing that door latch assembly just from reaching inside. But you may wish to remove the wires from that control panel and just set it completely out of the way. Disconnect each individual plug. There are two wires attached to a relay, and we'll need to pull those off separately. And then a harness connector on the opposite end. And now we can set that control panel aside. And we've gotten the control panel completely out of the way. So our next step will be to remove two screws that secure this trim piece to the bracket that secures the door lock assembly. Remove both of those. Well, next we'll need to reach inside and you'll find that there are two screws that go down through that mounting bracket to secure it to the top of the oven. So using either a number two Phillips or a number two square head screwdriver, just locate those screws and remove them. Now that will free up the door lock assembly. We'll just slide it back and then pull it up far enough that we can access the individual wires that connect to both the motor and the two switches and then we'll transfer those to the new door lock assembly. So we'll either take note of each of the wires and remove them all together or just do them individually. Make sure to check the terminals for any signs of arcing or corrosion and if there's any evident you'll need to replace those terminals. And if need be, you may require even those pliers to pull those terminals off if they're really tight.
sure that when we install these 90 degree flag terminals that we have them pointing upwards so that they don't short up against the casing. Now next we'll insert the latch and this newer switch activator through the openings in the front. Next, we'll install the two screws down through the top. We may need to leave the door partially open to do that procedure. Then tighten both those screws securely. screws installed we can close that door up and now we can put the control panel back into position and reconnect the wire harnesses. Now when reinstalling the control panel we're just going to hold it roughly into position take the harnesses and line them up in the appropriate spot and make sure they're firmly pressed into place two individual wires to that relay and again we need to make sure that those are nice and tight if they appear a little bit loose take the needle nose pliers and just give them a little bit of a crimp Once we have all of the harnesses connected, we'll center that housing and tilt it into position. And then just make sure that the mounting screw holes line up and then we'll secure it with the two screws. Now when installing that control panel, we do need to make sure that we engage the hook on the back side of that control panel or console on the top of that side rail. Gently out on the top to make sure that we've engaged it. The screw hole at the bottom should line up. Install that screw, and next we'll slide the trim bracket over top of that. So just take the trim bracket, make sure it slides completely over that, all the way up flush to the top, and then just snap in the bottom and install the screw from the inside. So once we've slid the top of that trim bracket up onto the bottom of the control panel, just push the bottom of the trim into place, line up that screw. And tighten that securely, and then close up the door. We're now ready to reconnect the power and our repair is complete.